Welcome to the top 10 greatest comebacks in football history, where heroes emerged from the brink of defeat. These tales of resilience and victory define the essence of football. If you love these incredible stories, remember to like and subscribe for more captivating football content. The 2018 World Cup was ablaze with anticipation when Croatia clashed swords with England in a nail-biting semi-final showdown. As the stadium pulsed with fervour, England's Kevin Trippier set the pitch ablaze with a majestic free kick, putting the three lines ahead in just the fifth minute. A storm brewed, but Croatia weathered it, refusing to wilt under pressure. In the 68th minute, the maestro Ivan Beresic conjured magic, sending the ball thundering into the net, levelling the playing field. The duel raged on, neither side relenting. Then, as the clock inched toward extra time, Croatia's Shima Fasalko emerged as the guardian angel, leaping to a head a shot off the goal line, a moment that kept Croatia's dream alive. And just when the tension seemed unbearable, it happened. In the 109th minute, Mario Mandzukic etched his name into history, darting past defenders to fire Croatia into delirium, sealing a jaw-dropping comeback victory. With this outstanding turnaround, Croatia stormed into the World Cup final, etching their tail into the annals of football folklore. In the grand theatre of football comebacks, Barcelona orchestrated a spectacle that defied logic and etched itself into the sport's folklore. The stage was set at the Camp Nou, a battleground where dreams would either soar or shatter. After a devastating 4-0 defeat in the first leg against PSG, hope seemed like a flickering candle in a storm. The moment arrived when Luis Suarez ignited the flame of hope with an early goal. The impossible felt just a tad bit possible. Then came the maestro Lionel Messi, weaving his magic with a clinical penalty, feeding the growing belief. But the pendulum swung back at PSG, resilient and fierce, struck back, threatening to snuff out Barcelona's flickering hopes with an away goal. Yet, the fire in Barcelona's spirit refused to dim. Enter Neymar Jr a force of nature in those final minutes. With nerves of steel, he orchestrated a masterclass, converting a stunning free kick and then delivering a sublime assist that set Sergi Roberto on a mission. The stadium erupted as Roberto's head had defied gravity, nestling into the net, sending shockwaves across the footballing universe. In those seven minutes of sheer drama, Barcelona had accomplished the inconceivable, sealing a miraculous 6-1 victory and a spot in the quarterfinals. The camp now became a cauldron of ecstasy. In the footballing symphony between Cameroon and Serbia, an ordinary match transformed into a tale of sheer tenacity and unyielding spirit. Serbia initially held the reins, appearing dominant and composed. The Cameroonians, however, refused to succumb to the apparent script, persisting with unrelenting optimism. The game's tempo shifted abruptly when Jean-Charles Castelletto soared above the defence, connecting powerfully with Pierre Koundé's tantalising corner to put Cameroon in the lead. Yet, Serbia swiftly countered, showcasing their own arsenal with Pavlovic, Sergei Milinkovic Savic, and the evergreen Alexander Mitrovic staging a relentless surge. In what felt like a blink of an eye, Serbia surged ahead to a commanding 3 1 lead. The indomitable Lions refused to bow down. Vincent Abubakar emerged as a beacon of hope, executing a cheeky chip over Vanya Milinkovic Savic in the 63rd minute, reigniting Cameroon's aspirations. Abubakar then turned provider, setting up Eric Maxim Chupomoting for the crucial equaliser. The stadium vibrated with the energy of a seesawing battle, a relentless exchange of blows that culminated in a thrilling 3 3 draw. While both teams teetered on the edge of potential elimination, this clash showcased the essence of football's unpredictability and passion. In the chronicles of football's greatest comebacks, Roma inscribed their tale with a performance that resonated with sheer determination and unyielding passion. Down 4-1 from the first leg against Barcelona, the Olympico bore witness to a night that defied the odds and etched itself into footballing lore. From the opening whistle, Roma set the stage ablaze with relentless intensity, pressing high and attacking with fervour. Their pursuit bore fruit within minutes as Eden Dzeko, a relentless force throughout, controlled a long ball and found the net, signalling Roma's unwavering intent. The Catalans found themselves beleaguered, struggling to weather the relentless Roman storm. 
A pivotal moment arrived as Gerald Piquet's desperation led to a costly foul on Checo, resulting in a penalty confidently dispatched by Daniel De Rossi. Yet, Barcelona, seemingly trapped in a state of inertia, failed to muster a response. Roma, undeterred and buoyed by their fervent supporters, refused to relent. With time dwindling, Alexander Kolarov's tantalizing corner found Costas Manolas, whose leaping header thundered past Mark Testigan, unleashing pandemonium at the Olympico. The stadium erupted in euphoria as Roma secured a stunning 3-0 victory, advancing to the semi-finals on away goals. In a titanic battle of football giants, Real Madrid scripted an unimaginable comeback against Manchester City in the Champions League semi-final, a tale that defied logic and redefined the boundaries of belief. As the clock ticked away, the Bernabeu stood on the brink of despair. Trailing 4-1 from the first leg, the mountain real face seemed unsurmountable against a resolute City side. The stage was set for a City progression as they held a commanding 5-3 aggregate lead in the 90th minute, courtesy of Real Moretz's critical goal. Then, in a sudden burst of audacity, the impossible began to unfold. Rodrigo emerged as the harbinger of hope, a substitute on a mission. With breathtaking efficiency, he notched not one but two goals in the blink of an eye, seizing Karim Benzema's precise delivery to score in the 90th minute and then, in the 91st minute, leaping to meet Danny Carvajal's cross, sending the Bernabeu into raptures. But the drama didn't end there. In a heart-stopping crescendo, Benzema, the talismanic figure from Madrid, epitomized nerve and composure. In the 95th minute of stoppage time, Benzema was brought down in the box, earning a penalty that he empathetically dispatched, sealing Real Madrid's miraculous passage into the final. It set the stage for a thrilling showdown against Liverpool, reigniting old rivalries and offering a shot at redemption from the 2018 final. The stage was set for an epic showdown at Anfield, a theatre that witnessed footballing miracles. Liverpool, reeling from a 3-0 first leg deficit against Barcelona, faced a daunting task. With key players sidelined due to injury, the odds seemed unsurmountable. Yet, against this backdrop of adversity, Anfield became the canvas for one of football's most sensational comebacks. Liverpool unleashed an onslaught that left the footballing world in disbelief. The Reds orchestrated a symphony of goals that shook the foundations of the stadium. Divock Origi, stepping into the spotlight, opened the scoring early, igniting hope in the hearts of the Anfield faithful. Then, a moment of sheer brilliance unfolded as Trent Alexander-Arnold's quick-witted corner caught Barcelona napping, sending up Jorginho Wijnaldum to thunder in two goals in quick succession, levelling the aggregate score. But the crescendo was yet to come. With the tie poised on a knife edge, a corner kick delivered by Cherdan Shachiri found the head of Aragormi once more, sealing the miraculous victory, propelling Liverpool to a 4-0 win on the night and an unforgettable 4-3 aggregate triumph. In a spellbinding clash that echoed with the thunderous heartbeat of football's drama, Tottenham Hotspur scripted a saga of resilience and unyielding spirit in the 2019 UEFA Champions League semi-final against Ajax. Trailing 1-0 from the first leg, Spurs' aspiration plummeted further when Ajax's 19-year-old skippier Matthijs De Ligt soared above the defence, nodding home a towering header, doubling the Dutch's side's advantage early on. The task for Mauricio Pochettino's men seemed colossal against Eric Ten Hag's talented assemble. As the contest unfolded, Spurs found themselves staring into an abyss. Ajax's Hakim Zayesh further deepened the chasm with a clinical finish leaving Tottenham 3-0 adrift on aggregate. But then, in a display of unwavering resolve, Spurs orchestrated a remarkable turnaround. Lucas Moura emerged as the catalyst for Spurs' resurgence. With sheer determination, he clawed Tottenham back into contention, netting twice in a mesmerising five-minute spell. His composed finishers first reduced the deficit and then leveled the scores on the night, igniting hope in the hearts of the Tottenham faithful. In a crescendo of pulsating action, Tottenham launched a fervent assault. Jan Vertonghen's header rattled the crossbar before. In a breathtaking climax, Lucas Moura etched his name into footballing folklore. 
With an audacious left-footed strike deep into stoppage time, he completed his hat-trick, propelling Spurs into their first Champions League final on away goals. In a Champions League clash that seemed destined to stun the footballing world, Bayern Munich clawed back from the brink of a shocking exit against Juventus, sealing a breathtaking 4-2 extra-time victory to secure a spot in the quarter-finals. The stage was set for drama as Paul Pogba capitalised on Bayern's defensive laps, securing an early lead for Juventus. Juan Cuadrado swiftly doubled the Italian side's advantage, placing Bayern on the edge of a perilous exit. When all seemed lost, Bayern found a spark. Robert Lewandowski ignited the German side's resurgence, pulling one back before Thomas Muller levelled the score in the dying minutes, forcing the game into extra time. As the tension heightened, Bayern's substitutes emerged as heroes. Thiago's clever play unlocked the deadlock, propelling Bayern into the lead. Then, Kingsley Conan delivered the final blow, sinking Juventus' hope with a decisive goal. The comeback was nothing short of miraculous, especially after Bayern's lackluster performance earlier in the match. Juventus had ample chances to seal the game, with Cadrado's efforts denied by an offside call and Neuer's heroics. May 26, 1999, the now camp charged with electricity. Manchester United facing off against Bayern Munich in the Champions League final, but the dream soared just six minutes in when Mario Basler's free kick curled past Peter Schmeichel, sending shivers down United's spine. For most of the game, it felt like Bayern held an iron grip on that coveted trophy. As the clock ticked to the 90th minute, United's hopes seemed to slip away, Bayern's fans were already painting the town red in celebration. But in the 91st and 93rd minutes, when all seemed lost, the footballing gods intervened. Picture this, Schmeichel charging up for a corner, Teddy Sheringham rising high, redirecting the ball into the net, breathing new life into United's dreams. It was a rescue mission at the last possible moment. Hold on to your seats, because there's more to this Hollywood script. Before Bayern could even catch their breath, another corner swung in. And there he was, Oli Gunja Sukja, with Nurse of Steel, stabbing the ball home in the 93rd minute, sealing United's fate in the most breathtaking fashion. In those three heart-stopping minutes, United defied destiny, orchestrating one of football's most miraculous comebacks. It was a night when the clock had all but struck midnight, but United's heroes snatched victory from the jaws of despair, etching their names in footballing lore forever. Number 1 on our list of epic comebacks takes us back to 2012, a day etched in Manchester football history, the legendary clash between Manchester City and Queen's Park Rangers. This wasn't just a football match, it was a whirlwind of emotions, drama and the stuff legends are made of. Picture this, the Premier League title race boiled down to the final day. Manchester City, battling arch-rivals Manchester United, needed a win against QPR to clinch their first Premier League trophy in decades. As the clock ticked into stoppage time against QPR, the unthinkable happened. City found themselves trailing 2-1. United had a slim lead against Sunderland, practically sealing their victory. Desperation loomed over City. The QPR keeper had been a fortress against their relentless attacks. The commentator's words echoed the despair felt by City supporters. It seemed bleak. Meanwhile, United fans anxiously watched both matches, hoping for City's stumble. Then, in those last five crucial minutes, the match dynamics flipped. Dzeko's header breathed life into City's hopes. As City pushed forward, hope clung to the air. Meanwhile, United fans gripped their phones, anxiously checking both matches. And then, the moments etched in eternity, Martin Tyler's voice narrated the climax in real time, capturing the unfathomable. Aguero! The stadium erupted as Sergio Aguero's iconic goal shook the world. Scenes of jubilation painted the city faithful. But the drama wasn't over. The news rippled to the United fans. Shock, disbelief and heartbreak engulfed them as the commentator's voice revealed the unthinkable. Manchester City have scored again. And that concludes our journey through football's most thrilling turnarounds. From last minute heroics to unforgettable comebacks, football never ceases to amaze. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more captivating football narratives in the future.